What's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale with another edition of Top Ladder Live. And we are in a match right now. We are joined by Wildcat, a.k.a. Yui, who's been on the channel a few times before now. He's known as a really, really good three musketeer player, but he has been playing a version of Bridge Spam. Let's say an updated version of Bridge Spam, including a card that I absolutely love. You guys know I am an unabashedly huge fan of the Lumberjack, which I ranked number two in my legendary ranking video. A lot of people said that might have been a little bit of an uh, an overvaluation of the Lumberjack's prowess and his power in the game, but what can I say? I think he's underrated in hog decks. Think about the rainbow hog deck, which is still really good, actually, and he's he's great in bridge spam. He's great in balloon cycle. He's great in, uh, in golem decks as well, so I'm a big fan of Lumberjack, and that's why I love him in this deck. Of course, that's not all, though. We do have the E-Drag, which is really in every deck, I feel like, or every archetype right now, even though, surprisingly, in my video a while ago, my balance wishlist video, a lot of you guys in the comments said that you don't think he needs a big nerf, the E-Drag, and I agree with you that he doesn't need a big nerf, I do think that he should die to Fireball plus Zap, or Poison plus Zap, so maybe a little bit of an HP nerf, we'll see anyway really soon on that. So here comes the Lumberjack doing a little bit of work against that Barbarian, but not before he got our right tower down to 1209. So things about halfway through this match almost here, not looking that great here for Yui. And here comes the Royal Ghost, let's see what he answers this Royal Ghost with. He's, he chooses just a Battle Ram, which it doesn't seem like a great counter to the Royal Ghost, but you're gonna see here, it still crosses that bridge at about two-thirds health. Of course, the Barbarians are gonna go ahead and chop it down, but he did prevent any damage from that Royal Ghost. So here we go. Uh, one minute and 20 seconds left in this match, and there's a lot of work to be done here. A huge advantage uh, going into Double Elixir time, and look at the deck that the opponent is playing, guys. I hate this deck, and I love it. I like playing it, but it is probably the strongest Three Musketeer deck in the game. At least the easiest to play, you know, and, and with me, with a guy like yours truly, that's always a really important component in the deck. How easy is it? How's the skill cap? And I think this deck is really low skill cap with the Barbarian Hut, so it's a deck that's right up my alley. Let's see how, uh, if uh, Yui can manufacture a comeback here as the E-Drag latches onto that Barbarian Hut. It's going to take care of the bear Barbarian Hut because he's out of range of that Princess Tower and take care of those two Barbarians, getting them into Tower, Princess Tower death range. Here comes another Barbarian Hut by the opponent. That's going to be a good fireball right there on the right if he has it. I think he's still a few cards away from it, but the E-Drag and the Barbarian Barrel actually do really nice work on defense there for Yui. Again, not taking any damage to his right tower. Identifying that the opponent may be overcommitted a little bit on Elixir with that defensive fireball. He goes in with an aggressive, uh, aggressive Lumberjack there, but it does not result in anything. Speaking of fireball value, there we go. We take care of the flying machine and that battle ram. Bandit will clean up the uh, barbarians there. And now we have about five seconds or so left in regulation here. This is definitely going to go to sudden death overtime, guys. A royal ghost in the back for the opponent. Two musketeers split to the right. Let's see what Yui does here. He's going to use that hunter, but not before that barbarian gets one hit on that right tower. And here comes a really nice fireball by the opponent. Things are not looking good here. Battle ram coming with the rage. Going to take care of that musketeer. And now here comes the bridge spam that we talked about, guys. Bandit is not going to get a charge there. Now she's going to get a charge. Wait one second there. He gets that charge on the tower, taking it down to 1675. An important defensive sequence here for you. He's going to go ahead and stall that battle ram with the E-Drag. E-Drag stays alive even though the fireball uh, connects. 394 HP remaining. Now, it's noteworthy that he doesn't have log. The opponent here doesn't have log. They have Barbarian Barrel in the deck, so they can't just fireball log cycle. So what you is going to want to do here as that bandit does get to the tower, is not allow him to get any fireball value. So you can see the high hunter there placed by Yui. That's going to prevent, again, you want to fireball cycle me? Go for it, man. But you're not going to get any value. He's going to be playing his cards really high at the bridge here. And there goes the high minions and the lumberjack. That's going to take care of that entire uh, barbarian hut. And now applying even more pressure with the bar barrel and the bandit. Can the bandit get a charge off again? She can! Through that royal ghost two times in this match, guys. And now, things are really close. We have to deal with this Royal Ghost and the Barbarian and there comes the Lumberjack just in the nick of time to distract that to Flying Machine and keep that Hunter alive and untargeted. Fireball comes down again but not on the tower which is the important part. Now all of a sudden the odds are stacked in our favor guys as we do have Fireball in cycle here and a Barbarian and a Hunter eating up that Rage in the lane. Here comes another Royal Ghost and another Barbarian for Yui and here comes a Hunter again reloading with the Lumberjack at the bridge here. Man things are looking good all of a sudden but we have a minute and 15 left. I mean 
This is definitely not going to be a draw, though. The towers are too low, and another fireball used on defense. Again, exactly what Yui wants here. So the bandit does connect. The, bar the bandit goes down through that hunter, but the barbarian on the rage gets to the tower. Two shots in. Boom. Tower down. Man, that was an intense match to start out this live ladder video. Let's go ahead and bring you guys into match number two, guys, once he finds it. All right, guys, match number two is underway. Let's go ahead and click in and see who he's facing. It's going to be uh, Den uh, Ick. <laughs> I've seen this guy before, and I can never understand how I'm supposed to pronounce his name. Uh, Den Ick. Then is that up? Okay, whatever. Anyway, into the match here, guys. Starting play uh, with this deck. Obviously, you want to be a bit cautious. I mean, this is kind of... You guys know better than this. I don't have to tell you guys. But just because it's a bridge spam deck, just because the name of the archetype is bridge spam, doesn't mean you're going to want to just spam, you know, at will. Or just spam without any reason. Again, like I said in the first match up there, you want to be very tactful with your spamming on the bridge there. And you saw Yui do it towards the end of last match. It's all about waiting for your opponent to make a mistake or at least having that positive elixir advantage or having the opponent have their counters their best counters out of cycle before you want to go aggressive with the bridge spam so starting out with uh, a bunch a battle ram at the bridge for example wouldn't be a good play for this deck some people don't mind starting out with a bandit at the bridge though just kind of food for thought for you guys depending on what level of aggression and uh what your starting hand is do you have those defensive cards in hand if they stop your bandit with something but sometimes that bandit at the bridge can be a sneaky first play with this deck so here we go it's going to be a hunter in the back going against oh the dreaded mortar rascal deck which is really dominating top ladder right now i took a little bit of heat for not including mortar uh in my uh my nerf in my buff list uh I, I, a lot of people thinking that it might need a nerf however the usage rates across the board outside of top ladder are relatively modest so i you know it's tricky it, balancing this game is incredibly difficult i do not envy the rum ham and the clash royale team mainly because because you're looking at different metas and different popular cards in every range of ladder. There's the Elite Barbarian Annoying range, free-to-play range. Uh, there's, of course, uh, look at that tower down, by the way. I kind of ignored that going on this kind of tyrant. Uh, but, wow, tirade. Oops. <laughs> I'm a tyrant and a tirade, and I ignore towers going down. But that was a like, tactful spam move there by Yui. And here comes a Leverjack to play some defense there. Barbarian Barrel coming down on those Spear Goblins. But, again, yeah, you have uh, a Grand Challenge win rates. You have high ladder win rates and, you, or, and use rates. And you have mid ladder win and use rates. So it's tricky to kind of satisfy all of the ranges. It's impossible, really. So I don't know. I don't know how they fix that other than, uh, you know, changing something up in the way the game game is fundamentally balanced. So here we go, minions against that miner on the left lane. We do take some mortar connection there, but this is a smart battle ram in the pocket. Even though the rascals will stop that, he knew the uh, the mortar was going to go away, and mortar was very low on health. He knew he had minions in the left lane, and then a fireball comes down for the opponent, but not before that bandit gets a charge on that left tower, taking it down all the way below 1,000 HP. So sometimes when you're playing bridge spam, the best defense is a solid, aggressive offense, especially if you have the early lead like Yui did in this match. Let's go ahead and take a quick break as he searches for another match and come to you guys when he gets into match number three. All right, guys, match number three is underway against the Laser. So Laser is going to be a, uh, a really good player. I've seen him play before. I forget what deck he is running there. So we'll see. It looks like both players here, 30 seconds already into regulation, have decided not to make the first play. Another kind of issue in the game that's always been an issue since they, you know, I mean, since the beginning of the game, right, is is making that first play when you don't have a great starting hand. And, and Yui, I guess he's figuring that, hey, CWA, you're recording. I guess I'll, I'll make a starting play here. And he goes with the Battle Ram in the back. A relatively safe play here. Uh, so Laser's going to be able to stop it with just a Tombstone here. Let's see if he supports it. Or let's see if Yui do, does anything. And it looks like he's happy not to do anything. So the one Skeleton coming down the right lane. But the Lumberjack's going to quickly take care of that Miner. Just look how fast the Lumberjack swings. It's really incredible. And here comes the new crappy emotes. <laughs> in from Laser, the opponent. A nice King Tower activation here. And a Valkyrie play to stop that Barbarian from getting any contact. So that was a really nice play there by Laser, the opponent. Uh, a solo Valkyrie coming in the right lane. We're going to go ahead and intercept it with an E-Dragon on, on defense. And again, just kind of slow playing here is Yui. He waits, and now he's going to go in with the Battle Ram and the Bandit and the E-Drag. So a nice formidable push here for Yui, but easily taken care of by the opponent's E-Drag. Now we have E-Drag on E-Drag here right at the bridge. Our E-Drag is out of range of the tower, though, so it looks like both E-Drags might die, or at least a sliver of HP will be remaining on the opponent's E-Drag. And there it is, about to cross the lane. He sends in the Miner as well. Let's see what Yui does. Again, responding, actually catching that Miner 
with the Lumberjack. And there goes the Hunter as well. Let's see if the, the okay, nice Barbarian Barrel to make sure that the, oh, the kid, the Princess Tower, excuse me, did end up targeting that Hunter. So Hunter goes down. Unfortunate situation there for Yui. And uh, here comes a Valkyrie, which is another underrated card in my opinion. I think the Valkyrie is really, really solid right now, guys. Look at the deck the opponent is playing here. It's obviously using that OP uh, offensive combo, defensive combo, excuse me. The uh, Tombstone, the Ice Wiz, and uh, the NATO. Am I ever going to get sick of saying that? Are they ever going to do something about those three cards, that combo? Or is it just going to be the way things are? I still feel like it's probably the most dominant three card combo in the game. Anyway, here comes a Lumberjack in Minions against that Tombstone there. And reloading with a Hunter in the back is Yui. Let's see what he does here. Kind of tricky here. He's not the opponent's playing this really smart, really defensively, and look at how defensively robust their deck is, guys. He has E Drag, Valkyrie, Ice Wiz, NATO, Tombstone, Minor Poison. Uh, just really, really strong there. It's going to be difficult here for Yui to break through against this deck, really. It's a difficult matchup. He goes with the Battle Ram, knowing that the Tombstone is out of cycle, but that's not going to be enough against the E-Drag. And look at the power of the E-Drag there. It stops that. Uh, not only does it stop that. Uh, oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that defense, guys. Just a NATO and E-Drag basically taking care of that entire push. in a Valkyrie, excuse me. From the opponent taking care of that entire push. E Wiz, or excuse me, Ice Wiz does get a little bit of chip damage on our left tower as Yui did not respond to it. And now just a fireball coming down needs to get rid of those tombstones. But it's tough because when you get rid of the tombstone, the opponent still has E Drag, still has Ice Wiz, and still has NATO in cycle. So here it comes. Speaking of two of the three of those cards, it's an E Drag in Ice Wiz coming down the right lane. A couple games looks to be going deep into overtime here, and I think that we're both limited on time. So unfortunately, guys, this will be the last match of this video. I like to make these a little bit longer, and I will do so in the future, but because of time limitations, this is probably going to be the last match. Just a heads up for you guys. So here we go. It's going to be a Lumberjack coming down the right lane. It's going to get stopped again there by the Barbarian Barrel and the Ice Wiz in tow. We have an E-Drag setting up with a... Uh, he's just starting to use his Battle Ram in the way back there. Just trying to get a bigger, stronger push going, but again, just breaking through against this deck is going to be incredibly difficult. I hate to keep repeating the same point, but you guys can see it illustrated so far here. A Lumberjack anticipating a Miner. He delays on the Miner there. Nice play by Laser and does finally get that Miner connection through that Lumberjack. Lumberjack cleans up the rest of the push there, uh, the Valkyrie at least. The E-Drag is still alive. The Hunter will engage against this E-Drag and the E-Drag does connect. Look at that range on the E-Drag connection there to the tower. Man, this is an impossible match here. I feel like I don't know what Yui could have done differently in this match, guys. Let me know if you've seen something. Should have switched lanes and gone aggressively, but hey, here he goes. This is a switch lane right now. I guess it's a do or die situation, but a Barbarian Barrel and a Valkyrie are probably going to make quick work of this push. He also has NATO in hand. Does it? Well, he need, he used it, but he didn't really need it there as the Miner did finish off that tower. So two and one, not too bad by a really great player, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. More top ladder live matches coming at you guys real soon. I wanted to thank Yui. Check out his player stats and profile in the description below. Best of luck with the deck, guys. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. So guys, thank you. As always, a huge shout out to my YouTube partner, Bren Shong. Check out his information as well in the description below. Thanks, and as always, take care, guys.